Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. We have day 26 of self-isolation. Let's start with today's TA because Bitcoin is still consolidating here after this potential breakout from our previous support. So as I told you in my last couple of videos, I recommend you to enjoy the Eastern weekend, stay away from trading and come back when the markets are opening again because right now we have no real confirmation that this is a valid breakout we still have less volume than usual and also maybe we have to adjust our support lines here because don't forget we closed the markets in green and also we had the cme close at seven thousand three hundred dollar so if we're gonna continue to drop or stay in this area we're gonna have a new big future gap up to seven thousand three hundred and maybe then we should play this uh, gap so in that case we should open a long over on Bybit or Femex if you want to trade with the leverage and ride it up once this gap wants to get filled so far Bitcoin is still consolidating here in the $6,800 this was the previous resistance right now is acting as support so here in theory we have this support here and this is a good sign but of course this could also end up in a potential head and shoulders pattern where we have here the left shoulders the head and here the right one and and then we should continue to break down to the downside and meet our target of potentially 6,000 down even here to 4,000 dollar but so far you can see that after this uh, drop we brought here the rsi from oversold back into the 50 level and we got rejected so far here stochastic now came also from overbought back into oversold so we are fighting here with a 20 moving average in the one hour time frame and i think probably we're gonna have here a breakout pretty soon in the next couple of hours here to the upside towards our new resistance which is currently at around seven thousand one hundred dollars in case of a breakout to the upside if you want to trade that right now i'm not trading i'm taking this a weekend off and i'm coming back uh, probably on tuesday to trade i would just want to have a little break and in case that we're going to lose here this support we potentially go at least down to 6700 potentially even lower towards 6500 to 6000 dollar and if we have a look here on the bollinger band you can also see that we're trading sideways here the the bollinger band is very tiny here in the one hour the macd still shifted to the upside but could have here a bearish cross anytime soon and also if we go over to the four hour time frame here you can see that the 20 moving average is coming slowly down so in case of a breakout to the upside watch out here for this moving average at 7030 because this could be a potential resistance uh, area up here to the previous support of 7100 rsi is coming towards the 50 level we didn't test it yet so here we still have a little bit of room left here for a potential rejection at the 15 RSI and the 20 moving average as the stochastic is coming up to neutral territory so also here in the four hour it looks more like we broke out from this support but of course we can adjust this line in case that this is the potential new support here at around 6,900. So we maybe have to then adjust our support lines uh, like that, but we have to wait for that uh, for another couple of days. And if we go over to the four hour time frame in the Bollinger Band, here also you can see that we came here to the yellow line. The next one in case that we can break it would be here the next step to 7,100. And this is why I'm telling you in case that we can break out from this wedge to the upside 7,100, that will probably be here the max out for this move macd still shifted to the downside so here also of course we could get rejected and then we're trading again towards 6700 here based on the bollinger band in the four hour which i think is very likely to happen because this wedge here is still very early so we could also create here a potential descending triangle in case that we're going again down to test 6700 dollars so watch out what we Will happen in the next couple of hours and if we have a look here in the daily time frame you can see that we closed above the 20 daily yesterday and right now we're bouncing again from the 20 daily moving average so even if we wick below here we don't have to close a daily candle below 6850 because in that case this would be a confirmation that we broke out from this support and right now we are on the way towards possible uh, up to 4k 
and here also you can see that the RSI is right at the 50 and stochastic overbought so here we have to see what will happen once the market is going to open again if we are still trading above the 15 RSI and what is the status also of the stochastic because if here we can bring it down to neutral or even oversold territory I think this could be a perfect setup for our next the long position especially if here in the daily we are getting oversold during this uh, weekend and during this uh, dump and of course we can have also a look over on the Bollinger Band in the daily because here we are also trading in the middle area we didn't overshoot it yet to the upside or to the downside so here we have a lot of room left uh, going down towards 6k or going up again towards $7,500 and the MACD of course is still shifted to the upside could have a potential bearish cross here but we have to see what will happen during this weekend so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now maybe later we're gonna do a live stream so maybe Make sure that you join also our live stream over on Twitch and also our free Discord trading chat. The chat is for free and everyone is uh, welcome. And also if you need a trading account over on Bybit or Femex or now even on BDR, you can use my invitation links that you find down below here in the video description. On Bybit you can get $90 for free, on Femex $72 and on BDR you can get some sign up bonus and also this daily mining that you can uh, claim here every day so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye